Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on analyzing a galvanic cell. So a galvanic cell, remember, is a battery, and a battery is a reaction between, it's a redox reaction, where an electron is being transferred from one species to another species. So we need to find out where is the electron coming from and where is it going. Remember, oxidation is when you've lost an electron, Reduction is when you've gained an electron. So something is going to have an electron at the beginning and not at the end. Something is not going to have it at the beginning and have it at the end. Then when you separate them, we can actually look this up and find out what kind of voltage is that little re half reaction uh, bound to give us. And then we can find out what's the total voltage of my full battery as we add the voltages together. And we'll look those voltages up in the Alex data tab, in the data table. All right, so looks like here we, we're starting with a copper ion. So this is an aqueous in solution. And this is a nitrogen compound called hydrazine. And the copper is going to go down in charge. So we're at 2 plus, and now it's at 1 plus. So the copper is being reduced. The hydrogen, this is gas. And so it's going to have an oxidation number of zero. We've got here that this is four. And so this is two negative because it takes two negatives to balance with four positives. So this is a negative two. So this is going to go up in charge. So the nitrogen is being oxidized. So we're going to separate these two uh, from each other and find out just what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Okay, so let's, uh, first of all, we'll do the copper. Don't worry about the balance. The balance is important once you have the entire thing. If you're separating them out, <coughs> you they won't be balanced anymore anyway. So we've got copper ion, copper two, and it's aqueous. And then I'll leave a space because we're gonna have to add or subtract an electron as we do these and we're gonna to go to copper one, which is aqueous, and we'll see that in order to get from a positive two to a positive one, I'm gonna to have to add an electron. Okay, so there is what? Is it reduction or, or oxidation? Two goes down to one, so this is my reduction stage. Okay. The next part would be the hydrazine, so we're gonna have the N2H4, and then the H's is gonna turn into water and then I'm gonna need the OH because it's the rest of the water, so it's part of it. Uh, now for one, I need four, so I do need this. Four OH aqueous yields in two, and that's a gas. Let me go ahead and put aqueous here since I'm gonna copy this in a minute. Into gas plus for H2O, which is a liquid. All right, now that's the oxidation. So if you remember, in a cell, we've got two chambers, okay, connected together, and then we have, a, we have an electrode in each one joined by a wire. And in the first, electrons are going to be leaving so if electrons are leaving, the charge goes up. So this is the oxidized side, and this is called the anode. The, the electrode is called the anode. Electrons are coming into this side. So this is the reduction side because the charge is being reduced because I'm adding electrons, which are negative, into this side. And this is called the cathode. So the cathode. So oxidation always occurs at the anode because the electron's running away. So this is being oxidized, and it's always being reduced at the cathode because electrons are coming in. So reduced means higher negative charge, and the electrons are coming in at you, so you're gonna have a higher electric charge, a negative charge. All right, so, so we're gonna have the oxidation at the anode, reduction at the cathode. So we'll need this in a minute for the, um, for the cell voltage. Okay, so the first question that they ask is write a balanced equation for the half reaction that takes place at the cathode. 
Well, here's the cathode, and so we want the reduction step. So we're going to use this one here. So this is the Cu2 plus aqueous plus electron yields C1 plus aqueous. So that's happening at the cathode. That's a reduction. The other one at the anode is your oxidation step. So that's this one. So this is going to be your N2H4 aqueous plus 4OH negative aqueous yields N2 gas plus 4H2O liquid. Okay, so that's happening here. All right, the last question, which is very scary, but it's it's easy when you when you realize what you're asked to do, it's it's not hard. You have to have some numbers though. These are something you can't do in your head. They're going to say what is the cell voltage, standard cell voltage. So that that's what your little knot is, and you're going to see that E naught, the standard cell potential, is going to be the voltage at your cathode. So this is the delta E of the cathode minus the delta E at the anode. So we want to know what is the voltage. So the cathode is which? The cathode is here, okay? And then the anode is here. So what is this and what is this? So you're simply going to go to the data table for the standard potentials and look them up, okay? And so I looked them up. And the first one I found was this one, exactly like it is. And I saw that the voltage, um, if you want to say it this way, it's E of the reduction, okay, E sub RED equals, and it's positive, 0 0.153, okay. And th this one was there as well. And this is your potential at the anode, which equals negative 1.16 volts. These are volts, okay? All right, now, cathode is the first one. So we're gonna say uh, it's positive, 0 0.153 minus, and now we put the second one in, negative 1.16 volts for the negative, okay? later. 0.153 minus 1.16. Okay. So you're going to this will be minus a minus. I don't know if you caught that. I think I did it wrong. 0.153 minus a minus, which is plus 1.16. It gives you E sub naught equals 1.313, and we want two decimal places, so that equals 1.3 volts. Okay. Um, different from what you've done, but not terribly hard, and I think you can get this with a bit of practice.